All right, so the first thing you'll need is a small terracotta pot, some brushes, some paper clay. This one's really soft. Black acrylic paint, red acry acrylic paint, green, and also white acrylic paint. Um, any acrylic paint will do. So just place some acrylic paint. Honestly, you don't really need the, uh, the um, other two colors. I didn't use them till later on in the video. Um, what you want to do is place one layer at a time and let each layer dry. And you can actually paint the pot white to make it easier to cover up the, the brown before you do the green. I just didn't want to do that step, so I just painted several layers of green on the on the pot, and it looks lighter than how it's going to dry right now. Just make sure you cover all the brown. Um, the first layer, you know, you, you do as much as you can, and then the second layer, third layer, however many layers you wish to put will make a difference. Then we'll take our paper clay, and this is what we're going to use to, to form our piranha Plant. That's what's going to make the head, the leaves, the stem. And um, I would use a different paper clay. I don't think this is a paper clay. I'm not really sure. But what you you want to do this is because the reason why you want to do this is because it's really soft. And it was, I found it really hard to uh, work with for this project. So you form a sphere. Just make sure that it's a nice, nice symmetrical round you know, sphere, and what you're going to do is, I'm looking for reference pictures, but what you're going to do is you're going to form a nice round sphere, uh, make sure that it's nice and smooth, because piranha plants have nice smooth he heads, and so uh, what you're going to do is take some scissors, and, and that's, I'm forming the stem right there, and just make sure that it's nice and thick. There we go, because it's going to hold that the, the head up, and I'm forming the leaves there. And I think it has two leaves. Uh, use this, I use the scissors. You can use anything, any straight or, you know, hard object to make the little lines on the leaves. I had the scissors, so I just use that. And just smooth whatever blemishes off, off the, the clay. And what you want to do is make sure that they dry, not not flat, but kind of bent. So I place them on a bottle of paint. So when they dry, they have that pretty little curve on them. And I just kind of set that to the side. That's the skewer I'm going to uh, use to use as a skeleton to make it a little bit better form, like sturdy, since the plant is so top heavy. I don't want it to bend the stem so we use this here for the skeleton of this of the the prana plant stem so you notice I keep kind of messing with it because there's fingerprints it's really soft clay so we use scissors to cut the mouth out and there's going to be loss of shape when you do this but just go ahead and just kind of reshape the the um the sphere in the mouth so that is the piranha plant's mouth. Kind of just make sure that it keeps its round shape. There we go. Just, I just had to continue reshaping it because of how soft the clay is. I'll post the, the um, different brand of paper clay that's a little bit more like firm. So I'm using more clay and I'm kind of snaking it a little bit, making it really thin for the, the lips. The plant has lips and so uh, you want to make sure that they're not too thin. You want to make sure that they're kind of plump. Um, then you kind of put it around the opening that you, that you made with the scissors and kind of shape it. You know, you're going to paint this, but you want it to have like that 3D effect. So kind of shape it to where it's it looks like actually like lips on the on the plant and it's so easy to mold with the paper clay I place the skewer in there just to kind of mark where I want it to stand and now I'm going to make the teeth 
So I tried placing it flat and cutting it with a straight edge. It didn't work. Um, it's too messy and it sticks. Plus I'm on a paper uh, kind of set, so it just it didn't work. So what I'm using is scissors, and I'll be cutting the teeth out with the scissors. It makes it all easier, and it holds its shape a lot better. So I'll be able to place these inside of the, the prana plant's mouth, and it's going to look really cute. Just make sure that you are um, not cutting the, the teeth too close. You want it to have some some room because they're, they're not the teeth are kind of like a little bit far apart so I, the little skewer is so good it's a good tool to like poke stuff and move things around without ruining your clay so since it's so soft I couldn't touch the inside of the of the mouth that much and then because it kept losing its shape so I used a little leftover teeth kind of cuttings and I formed some of the like filled in the spaces that didn't get filled with the clay teeth that I cut out you know it's kind of hard to get into those crevices so you can get those little triangles that you cut out of and kind of place them in there there's an empty spot so we're gonna do the other side the top or whichever the bottom half of them and we're gonna do the same cut little triangles into the Play. So I just kind of formed a rectangle and then cut the little clay, um, the, cut the triangles into the clay. Not all the way, but just kind of like so it had a ribbon with little triangles attached to it. It makes it a lot easier to place in there. And there we go. So I lost some teeth, so I'm good. I'm putting in the little leftover triangles. And I had placed a little piece of clay down there, but it didn't look right, so I was going to just wait to do that later. And I'm still kind of keeping its form by massaging the clay into a circle. Now it's dry. I had to set out for two days, and it's completely dry. So now I'm going to paint it with the red acrylic paint. And same thing with the pot. You know, it's going to it's gonna be streaky at first, but just fill in all of the the cracks and crevices. Uh, my clay was kind of hard to work with. It didn't keep its form that well, so just try to, if you have any kind of blemishes on there, cover them up with the red paint. And so I placed two layers on my flower. Um, I'm just showing you the first layer, but I did put another layer on top and then used a small brush to do, you know, the little blemishes cover up and, and kind of clean everything up. Uh, so here we're painting the second layer, or I did show it then I guess. I'm painting the second layer and now um, that we're going to let that dry and then uh, when it dries we'll do the lips, kind of paint the lips. I don't think I showed that in the video but um, I will tell you about it. So this is the where, the part where I'm going to do the, the stem and the leaves. And what I did is, I didn't show you guys on camera, but it's a green, the forest green color. And what I use is I put some some white in, in the color to lighten it up. And then I used another area of paint and, and put some black in it just to create a little bit of more dimension so let those dry and then you paint the stem as well and I paint the, painted the skewer just because it's just easier if it shows it won't it'll kind of blend in but it won't it, it I already made sure it covered everything and I painted the skewer and made sure that it had different colors on it we set them aside let them dry and then what we'll do is it didn't show um, when I painted the spots. I forgot to push the record button, but right here is is where I'm cleaning up everything with this smaller brush. And here, and then also you can see I didn't show that I painted the inside of the mouth black. 
so I did paint the inside of the mouth black and I also forgot to tell y'all with the little piece of clay you want to make a little circle and um, form a tongue and that's what's sitting on the right side right there so here I'm placing my plant inside of the pot and what I did is because I didn't have clay enough clay and heavy clay I just had the paper clay or whatever that is um, I used a piece of uh, kind of like a cardboard and I set it inside a, I guess it was like one of those paper cups and I, I set the plant inside I cut a hole in the top set up the plant, in, plant inside and put the clay around it and then I kind of just made a a vase inside of a vase or in, inside of the pot just to hold the plant and I'm gonna use super glue to kinda make it stick and you can see I painted the white dots but I didn't show it just paint dots where they they're not actually touching each other but they're close enough to cover the plant kind of evenly and here's where I glue the I'm gluing the um, the, the, the base to the pot with hot glue so the rest of the plants gonna come together with hot glue here's where I placed it and I used the clay to kind of reinforce it and I put the hot glue around it just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere and around the plant um, stem and here is where I insert uh, some glue in that little measurement hole that we did and stick it in the on the stem the skewer make sure to cut the the pointy edge of the skewer and here the leaves are coming on just hot glue them on um, and the tongue also the one that I forgot to show you guys how to make it's just a little circle that looks like a quarter and it has a little line in it just to make it look like it's 3d you can actually also paint it in there but it looks cool and it has like dimension to it I'm just reinforcing the plant because it's so top heavy you know I don't want it to tip over which it didn't it, it, it was just perfect um, so now we have our plant and we're gonna place some moss inside of there just to hide all the ugliness if you have clay you can use the clay to, for that thank you Neith for subscribing you're awesome